Why do I dance? To release. To feel the rhythm. To exercise my mind. To feel my heartbeat. Dancing is beautiful. Empowering. Infinite. Inspiring. Someday I'll be on a big stage for the whole world to see. I sit there and I well up because these children, they are so stoked to be on this big stage where all their Broadway stars and rock music stars and people that they look up to come through this house and perform. And for them to sit there and look at the thousands of seats out there, it's incredible. There is this unexplainable communion with the energy of the people out there, but also something that is so much bigger than yourself. It's this complete union of being so completely aware of your own self and your body and everything that's around you and the energy that's around you. And it's what we crave in real life when we're not in that situation. Just like, yes, this is why I'm alive feeling, you know, and that's what you get when you're on stage. When I see their faces and see how their heart is like welling up with that excitement, that's what it's about for them to have that experience of what it means to be in a professional house. All the discipline that it takes to make that happen, all the cooperation that it takes to make that happen. But then in that moment when the lights come up, that's what it is and it doesn't matter what is happening at all. <laughs> is just seeing them be so completely excited. They can't even believe that it's happening. And you see this sense of ownership and confidence and empowerment, feeling empowered in their culture, feeling empowered in their history, and getting to share that with so many people who are just like amazed by that beauty is, is incredible. have kids who are working on a skill that requires them bringing themselves to it, bringing their imagination, bringing their love, bringing their experience culturally. You're not just learning skills to be good at your craft, you're learning skills about how to be a better human being and how to contribute to society in a really open and compassionate way. It's teaching them how to be in the world, it's teaching them how to communicate with other human beings and how to be uh, embodied in themselves so that they can be more present with other people and be leaders in that way. Dancing takes me to a different place. To be a dancer, you have to put yourself out there. If you're insecure, you have to get over that because that's what you do as a dancer. You push yourself and you have teachers here who push you and tell you that you can be better than what you are and it helps a lot. I want my students and the dancers that come after me to be better than I am. That is my job to give them all the skills that I didn't have at their age and, and help them go and be better and go farther. And I see it it's happening already. In life, there's like not a lot of things that you can control. You can't talk however you want to. You can't walk however you want to. There's always people who are judging you. When you dance, even with choreography, you can take it and put your own style to it. It's freeing. You can do whatever you want to. You can move however you want to. As a student of anything that you're learning, you, you take in that knowledge from your teacher, but then it's up to you to really make something happen with that. 
it's been the most satisfying when I see kids learn that, oh, I get to make this up. I don't have to stand here and wait for someone to tell me what to do. And it's about everything that comes from within. And that's like how it is in real life. There are a lot of different paths you can go and the more options you're exposed to, the more empowered you can be to make up your own rules when you get out there. And that's what it's about. Tight, 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 tight.